that turned out to be true. Well, let's start a new video. So today we're not going to be discussing movies or YouTube videos. We're going to be discussing urban legends. I was scrolling through TikTok the other day and a video came up on my feed talking about urban legends. I was thinking, were there any urban legends that actually turned out to be true? And after some research, there are actually a lot of urban legends that either became true or were true the whole time. So I will be reading off certain websites, but every single website that I read from in this video will be credited in the description because that is the most important thing to me is that people are. Yes, just like with me too. Yes. So per usual, yes. I'm not going to waste your time in this intro. Uh, if you love creepy, scary things, make sure you subscribe and uh, let's get on with the video. So the first urban legend we're going to be starting off with is the bunny man. If you don't know, I made a video that did Oh my god, not this piece of shit. Yeah, I, I remember. So he... Uh, didn't do too uh, well, which took me like a week to watch all of these Bunny Man videos and make a video about it. I think this urban legend is slightly connected to that, but it's really not. But they do share a similar person wearing a bunny costume. So the urban legend states that in 1904, a bus crashed while transferring patients from an asylum in Fairfax County, Virginia. The patients escaped and all but one were eventually recaptured. Shortly after the bus broke down, dead bunnies started appearing around the area, many hanging from the Fairfax Station Bridge. So essentially, all of this was not proven. It was just a horror story that people would tell their kids or talk about amongst their friends in the Fairfax area. But what did happen after this was in the Fairfax County, Virginia area in 1970, there was a pair of mysterious and scary incidences that occurred involving a man dressed in a bunny suit, giving merit to what was a campfire story before. A young couple was taking a nighttime drive when a man dressed in a white bunny suit hurled an axe at their car. It broke their car window, but they were completely fine. And only two weeks later after that incident, another Fairfax County man discovered an axe wielding guy in a bunny. Why would you guys? My gosh, bro. If I, bro. This is not normal, bro. If this happened, bro, I'm. Br so did the couples knew about it or they just just are just passing through? The second person got a knew about the incident and then his dumb ass still decided to go through it. Nope. Uh, I'm good, bro. Hell no. Nope. He suit chopping up the porch of a recently built unoccupied house. By the time the police showed up for both of these occurrences, he was gone. This man has never been caught. With this urban legend, there is a particular location that people seem to bring up a lot called the Bunny Man Bridge. There are tons of really eerie stories connected to this bridge, and I guarantee if you bring it up to someone in the Fairfax County area, they will say that they know exactly what you're talking about. It is that famous. Connecting to the fake urban legend, there were stories that children were being hanged from this bridge and there was a homeless, psychotic man, like I said before, wearing a rabbit suit killing children who lived under that bridge. This bridge is so famous that people actually investigate this a lot on YouTube. When I was doing research for the Bunny Man movies, I found tons of footage of people going underneath the Bunny Man bridge. You're gonna have to be paying me to... to to do this type of stuff bro for real bro cause I so there isn't actually a whole lot known which is true to this story but what is proven are those two stories of the guy in the bunny man suit doing crazy shit and like i say in all my videos if you know any information that i am missing on this please let me know maybe if you live in the area you know more than the internet does so yeah leave a comment that being said let's move on to the next urban legend in this video now this next one is really sad so this urban legend is called Charlie No Face. The location of this urban legend is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There is a train tunnel in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania where people say that they see a man with a severely burned and almost non-existent face. They say that if you see him at night when you're under the bridge, it made electricity go haywire with his very presence. Tons of kids around the town would actually sneak out, go into the tunnel, and try to get a glimpse of him. Now, When I was a kid, I was at home watching super oh super side what is it called super wide yeah super wide word girl or martha bro like bro like these kids bro <laughs> what's going on with these parents bro hell no oh, the scariest part about this is that when those kids snuck out they probably did actually see no face charlie the thing is his name is not charlie his name is raymond robinson and he suffered a severe accident involving an electrical line that left him with a disfigured face because of this he was very 
on uh, uh shoot me dead if this okay let me not uh, uh, secure and he mostly stayed inside during the day so people didn't see his face and he would only venture out at nighttime and according to this article he didn't do any haunting in fact he was friendly and would occasionally let curious teens take pictures with him in exchange for cigarettes it almost seems like he was kind of leaning into the urban legend maybe having a little bit of fun you think smoking cigarettes is a good idea bro you already look like two Face and then you th all right bro I don't care if you're friendly. Don't get, do not get near me, bro. You're not normal. Don't get near me. I, I, I think this nigga's a demon. I don't care, bro. Of it, but I know deep down it probably made him a little bit upset. I mean, he did get some cigarettes out of it, so. But yeah, this is just one of many urban legends that actually turned out to be a real person and be true. Now let us move on to the next urban legend, Staten Island. So this one is actually really creepy when I was researching and it made me super uncomfortable. According to this tale, Cropsey lived underneath the abandoned Willowbrook State School for children. He was said to be an axe murderer, that he would kidnap children, and that he was essentially the town's boogeyman. In all different versions of this story, there was one connection, that he was a murderous creeper that was just looking for children. As you already know the title, it was a real guy. His name was Andre Rand and he worked as a janitor at the Willowbrook State School. Oh shit, this nigga is spitting too. He looking like Oh, uh, I need to stop saying so because I know someone's gonna clip it in the future, play it back, and I'm not I'm not gonna know, but yeah, you can tell that that man was Yeah, bro. Well before it shut down in nineteen eighty seven. After it shut down, he actually continued living on the grounds of the school and is suspected to be responsible for the disappearances of several children. Though it was never truly proven, he was found guilty of kidnapping in 1988 and again in 2004. So I think you can put the pieces together. According to this article, there actually is a documentary called Cropsy, so that seems very interesting. I'm definitely going to check this documentary out, and uh, if you watch it, let me know. Now? I'm not watching it. I get paranoid. <laughs> I remember I went to sleep. I was watching this uh, Mr. Cruel video insane uh, i was watching a mr cruel video i could not went to sleep bro i have a mirror right in front of my face while i sleep <sighs> nah bro that, <laughs> that's just not normal bro let's move on to the next urban legend now this is just a little quick one i wanted to add because it is a little bit humorous but it is still pretty terrifying you may have seen those rumors that rats will crawl up the toilet when you're like taking a poop and just bite your ass or something. It is 100% true. On an episode of NPR's The American Life, an organ man returned from a fun night out and wanted to make a quick trip to the bathroom before crawling into bed. But that plan was foiled by a furry live rodent he found in the toilet when he lifted up the lid. If you have any interest in this, I, I assume you probably don't. But rats can fit through like the most smallest of pipes and holes you have ever seen in your whole entire life. Like I said, if you have any curiosity, just look this up on YouTube because it is insane. That was a short little one. <laughs> I feel bad for all my New York niggas. New York, I know damn well they, they all got issues with this. And I almost definitely got some issue with this. This could have not been me, bro. Shit. If I see a rat com I'm coming outside of my toilet. I'm gonna I'm be like Osama and I'm gonna be like Osama and be lying and then like bombing the shit out that toilet, bro. I don't I don't care. I'm I'm pu I'm putting TNT all over my my bathroom, bro. That's not normal. And then and then I will have PTSD, bro. I will have PTSD if this shit ever happens. To nope. One I just wanted nope. to add. Um, let's move on to the next one. Mm. So this next one is probably the most famous. There was an amusement park in California, Long Beach with a certain prop. Every single time people walked by the prop, they would say it looked way too realistic, that there was actually a funky smell, and there was a rumor going around that it was an actual dead body, but no one actually thought that was true. That was until 1975 when a film crew shooting an episode of the television series The Six Million Dollar Man had to move a prop because the director just didn't like the way it looked, it was just, it was not right for the shot. He asked if anybody could move it, and one of the workers actually came over to move the prop out of the way. When he went to pick up the prop, it's Friday Nights at Freddy. Where's Bonnie? Where's 
Where's Fox? Arm fell off. It's not too crazy for an arm to fall off of a prop. It could have just been a mannequin. No, there was a human bone sticking out of it. It turns out that the body was actually one of Elmer McCurdy, who lived from 1880 to 1911. He was a bank robber who had been killed in a shootout with police. McCurdy's body actually went unclaimed, and to recoup some of the funeral home's expenses, Undertaker actually decided to exhibit the body to paying customers. So in 1916, a man came along who said that he was McCurdy's long-lost brother, and because the body was unclaimed, he said, yeah, I'm his brother, I'm able to claim this body. But he never buried it. He took the mummified corpse and put it on display in a traveling show. So McCurdy's body was actually used like that for the next 60 years. To preserve the body, they put tons of coats of paint on him and varnish, until they ended up in a carnival funhouse where the TV crew discovered them. So after McCurdy's body was discovered to be a real person and not just a prop, he finally got his burial in 1977 at Boot Hill Cemetery in Oklahoma. I literally just could not imagine the kids that walked up to there, maybe even touched him, maybe even touched the prop thinking it was just a toy. It really blows my mind how many people actually walked, saw, stared, maybe even touched a real dead body. So this one... <laughs> You're going to be hearing from my lawyers. How about that? Hell no. If my kids touch one of that demonic shit or that body, you're going to be hearing my lord, but buddy. You'll be hearing from me, bro. It was definitely shit. the craziest, but let's move on to the next one. So this final one is more of a general urban legend than it is a specific place or state or location. So you've probably heard scary stories before of people being buried alive or maybe it was in movies. Personally, I've heard this story a thousand times, uh, Mr. Beast has done it, but I've never heard an actual story of someone being buried alive who was once marked dead. That's when the story of Octavia Hatcher comes in. She fell ill and she went into a coma in the late 1800s. Not long after her coma, she was pronounced dead and swiftly buried. Not even a week later, other people began showing similar symptoms to Octavia. They fell into a coma with extremely shallow breathing. These individuals who had the same exact symptoms as Octavia, however, woke up. Her husband started freaking out and he was worried that his wife was buried alive. He then ordered to have her be unburied and sadly his suspicions were correct. Octavia was found dead in her casket with a scratched face and bloody fingers. The lining had even been torn from the coffin's lid, meaning she was trying to get out. She was then reburied and it is where she remains today. Oh Lord Jesus, man. oh my gosh, bro. Oh my God, that's shit, bro. This one is absolutely excruciating to think about. I can't even imagine being buried alive and I can't even put my headspace into what Octavia was going through at that time. So that was the final urban legend, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I will be doing my- Insane, man. Insane. Like, did you- like, like, we have to talk- oh, wait, wait, let's talk about the doctors. Or maybe the doc- maybe the- the coma was like, uh, the rare- was rare. So maybe the doctors didn't know, but- Insane, bro. Insane, insane. I feel bad for the no face man. He's he's just a kind soul, man. Tuh, you could be kind all you want. I'm still not trusting you. You look like Two Face, my nigga. You look scary, bro. You, you look like a seventy five overall, my nigga. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get scared from my life, bro. You're just not normal, bro. I, I don't care, bro. But shout out to him, though. I, I really hope that he, he is actually nice, though. I really hope that he is actually nice. If not, <laughs> your kid... I'm not, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... Oh, my gosh, bro. Insane. in -f insane. But, man, banger video, man. This has been Urban Legends That Turned Out To Be True by Zyark. Zyark. Ziark, shout out to Ziark. I'm gonna shout out to you, bro. Bigger video. If y'all want more of this and know what to do, man, leave a like. And I'll see some Zika tomorrow, man. I'm out this one. Peace.